Did you guys know that before you load in, that everyone's facing the wall? And slowly, one by one, everybody turns around. <laughs> it's the strangest thing I think I've ever seen. Look, now that everybody's loaded in, everybody's facing the right way. What is this magic? What is this? That's ridiculous. Alright guys, welcome ladies and gentlemen to the latest Smitten Cast. Today we are looking at a Masters Ranked game and let me go ahead and introduce our teams. Over here on the red side we have The Will playing Mercury. We have I Lack Logic on Raw. Christophalus Christophe Christophe on Geb. We have Words as Weapons. Ooh, nice name on Bakasura. Lurazad on Cupid. And over here on the blue team, we have Jeff Hinla playing Ares with a beautiful SWC Ares skin. Nicely done. We have Andenster on Thor. I have an invite. We have You're All Noobs on Agni. We have Clow Hunter on Rom. And we have Wub. Wub on Changa. So today we are taking a look at this, uh, this beautiful rank game. It's a wonderful day outside. I hope you guys are having a fantastic Wednesday. It's been a fantastic Wednesday over here. I couldn't find any... I couldn't find any... any scrims to cast. I still need to get in contact with a couple of the uh, team captains or some just some more of the pros. That way I can get access to these, these scrims whenever they become available. So if you're a pro and you're watching this, you want me to cast one of your scrims so I can get some practice, make sure to let me know either through Twitter or through the comment section below. So for the start here, everybody seems to be pretty safe. Careful, no invades coming out. Go ahead and just take out these buffs. If we can take a second and talk about team comps, in, team comps here, since there is no, uh, there's no invade happening right now. So over here on the blue side, we have Ares with Agni, which is always fun, just in case they have beads already on cooldown. Alt into or Ares alt into an Agni alt is fantastic. Looking over here at the solo lane, which, which is where most of the action takes place uh, within the first three minutes of the game, we have the red side already cleaning up this entire wave, forcing Changa and Thor back under the tower. Nothing too damaging. We do have an engage over here on left lane. Uh, it's, Geb is taking tons of damage. So did the Ch uh, so did the Cupid. Cupid is well below half health now, but just if he levels up his hearts, he should be able to get most of that back. Just little casual poking. Over here in right lane, we do have a little, also another little bit of an engage. Uh, for some reason, uh, Mercury, Mercury is not doing things he's supposed to be doing. All right, everybody's under towers. Safe, 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 safely playing. Um, looks like this Mercury is super low, so he's trying to stay in the back lane, trying to uh, not take too much hits from either the Thor Hammer or from the Changa's like two second cooldown. <laughs> Wave clear, there it is. He's just staying, trying to keep up some of this golden experience. Uh, if, if I was over here in solo lane, I'd be trying to maybe th put some pressure on the wave, force him to come out a little bit, but that could make them force him to heal up. They're gonna go ahead and split off. Looks like he's heading for mid lane. See if he can't get a gank off here on this raw. This raw is full health, full mana though, but they may be able to get something with a... <gasps> Stun coming out from the Agni and a couple of whacks from the hammer. Oh, a double tap and a Berserker's Barrage gets Ah, gets Raw down super low, nothing to, nothing is going to actually come in that. So instead, they're just going to go ahead and invade these small camps back here. Mercury does seem to sniff it out, but he is, he's not full health, but he is a little damaged. Looks like he's just going to go ahead. Ooh, it looks like he does get a couple of the small creeps. Uh, the rest of the creeps do go over here to blue side. Oh, huh. Ares over here looking to see if he can't get a gank off. Is he level 5? Ares is level 4, but he does have chains. Geb spots it out. Oh, and a first blood comes out on... Ooh, we're going to rewind that. I want to see that. All right, so here's here's the gank on Ra. Thor comes in. The stun goes off on Agni. Tons of damage coming out. Thor hits him twice before he tries to uh, dump his kit down on him. Everything's fine. Then here's where they move to go steal the, the back left camps. Mid is leaving. And Mercury, like I said, he's not... He's not super, super full health. He's actually just a little bit damaged. He's only barely above half health uh, since he does have 
Bumbas that did heal him up a little bit whenever he got the last hits on a couple of those creeps, but instead of leaving like I, I would probably do, he decides to stay. Takes double tap from from the Thor, takes tons of damage from Agni and a Berserker's Barrage. Uh, the tick damage was not enough, but Agni did pick it up. Very well done. That's that's tons of golden experience going to the blue team. They're going to go ahead and head back. It's never a good thing whenever Agni gets first blood. He's got his scales probably even worse than most, most mages in the mid lane. Oh, and there is another kill over here in left lane. Let's go ahead and watch that. Uh, there's that gank in mid lane. Over here in left lane, let's look at the pressure here. So Cupid has no mana. He's half dead. And looks like our Geb support is full health and pretty much full mana. Up against full health, full mana, both um, Ares and Rom. So let's take a look here. Cupid um, and Geb pull pulled way back. They're denying the, the experience here. Geb shield comes out. The knockup comes out. Three chains plus flames and dead. That was really very unfortunate. Uh, Cupid was really, really low health there, and I probably would have stayed back pretty, pretty far if I were them. Taking a look over here, mid camps are spawned both left and right. Left should be going down to Thor here. Right lane should be going down here to the Mercury. That should help him out, get him a little bit of experience and gold back after being first blooded. All right, very nicely done. Oh, and there is a kill over in the left lane. Would you guys quit it? Quit, quit. See, there goes Cupid. Now we're gonna wait and see if we can't get this kill off on the Geb here. Geb it has decided to stay rather than rotate with his team. Uh, rather interesting. I can't see what level he is. It looks like he is level five. Looks like there's an offensive dash coming in by the Rama. Three chains coming out of Ares. Ares ult getting off. Geb shield does not save and taking tons of damage from a full minion wave. <laughs> Three chains and an ult. Looks like a second ult will be used to pick him up. Very nicely done. It is only three and a half minutes into the game. I do not see a gold fury coming out here, but they do have tons of archers, so they should be able to get a decent amount of poke here. Looking over here at middle lane, we still have a grouping. We have uh, Thor coming in, only one hit off the double tap coming down. He's going to go ahead and peel off as uh, looks like Bakasura is quite pushed up, quite pushed up. Chunga against Bakasura is uh, incredibly interesting to me. Uh, the true damage versus the immunity. Ah, oh, the ult coming out by Chonga. Basic hit there. Looks like he is. Oh, the Thor dunk. Oh, and the Berserker's Barrage. Andy picks up another kill on Bakasura. Very well done. They should be able to just clear this up just fine. Uh, meanwhile, in mid lane, we have a half dead Raw up against a backing Agni. Very well done. Puts lots of pressure on him there. Uh, I would probably. It's probably safe to say that the Raw could stay for this next wave. Uh, Andy's ult is down, so is Chonga's. They are invading over here at the speed buff. Mercury charging up his ult, looking to use it. They see him charging it up, and looks like he's not going to- Oh, he does! He actually lands it on the Chonga! Gets a little bit of damage off of her, but they do end up picking the speed buff anyways. There's a three-man rotation over here in the solo lane. Oh, the raw ult coming out, and does- mm, Definitely hit Chonga. Another Bakasura coming, ult coming out. Looks like Thor beads- Thor beads? Thor did not beads. Thor just heavy hammered out of all of that uh, cripple. Interesting. He must have not gotten in, into the pool exactly. We have an Agni rotating over here now. Uh, Bakasura is not incredibly low, but he is low on mana. The stun missing. The second bomb landing. And then this looks like it's just we're going to disengage here. All right. We've got support V. Oh, JK. JK. We're going to come back and look at this engagement one more time. If you guys didn't know, I am... Brand new to casting. This is probably this is my third cast to be uploaded to my YouTube channel. Uh, the first two I will have on the channel. And so, part of the problem with solo casting is I can't keep up with all the action all the time myself. So, if we miss a kill, I want to make sure that we see why it ended up happening, so that way you guys are learning just as much as I am from this. This looked like it was everything was going to disengage. You saw. Uh, Aerie starting to rotate right, but that just ended up not happening. Second bomb, there's that second bomb coming out on Bakasura. This looked like they should be disengaging, but there's an offensive dash coming out from Agni. The dot getting him as well as the flame wave. Holy the damage. Oh, the damage. Looks like Aries is going to come over. Ra is going to get back, and uh, Mercury is going to try to get out of that damage that's very very well done there's a three-man grouping over here and Chonga's coming back for the fourth 
Meanwhile, mid's taking a little bit of damage. Mid camps are still down. Uh, we do have buffs up on both sides. So we should see lots of people grouping to clear this. Uh, looks like Agni's over here trying to contest the blue. That's a little greedy. He did get first blood. He is pretty far ahead. He is 2-0 oh, the game right now, standing at 5-0. Oh. The blue team is up by, let's look at the graphs, oh, 4K experience and 2,500 gold without a single objective completed. That's, that's efficient farming, ladies and gentlemen. I wish I could see that in my games, at least on my team in my games. Looking at mid, we still have Ares looking to get some pressure over here. Rod is going to go ahead and use the ult to clear it out. Uh, the chain's missing, and so did the stun. The the thing about Rod, it's really hard to catch him whenever he has his passive up. If he's used a couple abilities lately, trying to catch him and predict his his, his movement is incredibly uh -huh. difficult because he gains movement speed for every ability that he uses up to three. All right, uh, the heart bomb coming on over here. Ultimate coming out of Ares. Going to go ahead and pull the Geb. Tons of damage coming out. There's the Cupid ultimate. Three chains on Geb. Oh, the Mercury ult misses coming in on the backside, trying to get some damage off. Cloud taking Geb out with the ult. Mercury taking out Ares with looks like just a couple of hits. Rama is in a lot of trouble, but there is a Thor to come save the dough. <laughs> save the dough, not the day. A couple, uh, couple of basic hit attacks will pick up Cupid for Thor. Now they're looking at Mercury. They know his ultimate is down. He's pretty, he's got a pretty low mana pool right now, but they see that Ra's over here trying to rotate as well. Ra does not have an escape. All he has is a heal to try to keep him in the fight. Agni Bomb coming out and taking the life of the Ra. This should, they should be able to salt the fields with this one, pick up as much as they possibly can. Uh, Red Buff, there's back camps available, but Geb is here and Mercury is still in left lane. He's still kind of dead. He's still really low on mana. Oh, and over here in the solo lane, we did, we did get to see, uh, yeah. we didn't get to see Baka backing, but we do get to see a Geb ult coming out, getting two. Nothing really coming of that, which is unfortunate. Mercury is pushed way too far back. He's way too low. That was uh, that was miscommunication there, definitely. Or maybe the Geb was using his ultimate to get out. But they are going to go ahead. Blue team take the opportunity here. Now that his ultimate is down to go ahead and pick up a gold fury here. Uh, mid camps are still up. We do not see a rotation coming out. This one is definitely for free. Blue team picks, picks up a gold fury. That puts them 4,600 gold ahead. 6,700 experience. That is... That is significant. <laughs> that is absolutely significant. All right, we still have right camps up over here. And it uh, looks like they should go down to blue team as they have the most people and the most pressure in the mid lane. Oh, Mercury out coming out on, on Ares. Oh, and the, and the mage look taking it out. Oh my goodness. Actually, uh, Agni is here. He's 1v2ing, but Thor is backing. Thor is backing. We're, oh, he's super low with no mana. Of course he's backing. I mean, you can't engage when you don't have any mana. Silly hobbits. All right, now that hopefully there's not enough action going on right now, we can talk about items for a second. Uh, we have a Doomorb coming out on Ra. And it's not working out for him so far. He's not able to, first of all, get his stacks up to 50. Looks like he died at 40 stacks and is now back to lane with it. Oh, holy goodness. What else? What else? What other kind of oddities here? We've only got 11 stacks on Cupid, which isn't too bad. Whenever you are stacking items, especially as ADC, you want to try to get, you know, your full stacks. Oh, double tack coming out by Thor. And the ultimate by Tonga. They really want this Bakasura dead. They really want him, but looks like, oh, it looks like Mercury's here to save the day. Picks up the kill on Changa. Thor still really wants that blood. He's not ready to give this up. He has no mana, no health. As long as he can land ultimates or possibly a Berserker's Barrage, which you can't really juke, he should be able to get a kill here. Oh, he got the kill! Is he going to survive the all? He gets taken out by the tower. That was amazing. Oh, I love these pro plays just for that reason. All right. Um, usually, as I was saying before, normally by the 10-minute mark as ADC, you want to have Devil Gloves completely stacked and finished only because that's whenever objective fights really start to, to become an actual thing. You know, there's always... Gro early gold fury fights but uh but usually around 10 minutes is where they happen the most two ults coming out over here in the left lane aries ult and geb ult looks like there's oh the beats coming out by cupid but geb is in a lot of trouble he's going down pretty quickly are they gonna have enough to pick him up oh rama goes up in his ultimate and misses the first two snipes and lands the third one lands the money shot aries back here in the back lane trying to get something off here and looks like aries is picked up by Roth. 
Rama trying to avoid some of this pressure, but Agni is here to save the day. The rotations by by Blue Team are just absolutely phenomenal. Agni is just all over the place, making sure he's part of all the fights that he can be. Age is coming out by Agni, do dodging the damage from the Heart Bomb. He uses uh, beads to get out of the Cripple and is here to try, try to contest this a little bit. He is getting an exceptionally low Heart Bomb, is definitely going to land, and he's definitely going to die to that. It looks like we get one Cupid uh, kill and uh, like three kills for the other team. Nicely done, guys. Looking over here, this is Jungler v Jungler. Thor used to forced to use beads here. Ultimate coming out by Mercury. Is he going to use it to escape or is he going to use it to engage? We got a single hit of damage on Thor Hammer. Looking for an engage here, but we see Cupid coming up from behind. Thor, you're in a precarious position, my friend. Your hammer is down for at least another few seconds. Here it is. Mjolnir's is up. He can get out because Cupid is just going to disengage. Cupid is almost out of mana and at half health, and that's really easy. Oh! Oh! The Berserker Barrage gets interrupted! Oh, the ultimate comes out, and he's in a tight spot, gets taken out by Ra. Holy free holies, that engage. Our left camp's coming up. They will be going down to blue team. Right lane looks like relieved some pressure off of that Bakasura. Geb came over and rotated for that, which is uh, which is exactly what you should be doing as a sport, is rotating to help your team, right? Mid lane, we do have a little bit of pressure coming out here. It's it's Ra and Ares versus Mercury and Ra, and everybody's just going to disengage. Right camps are still up. Left camps are down now that, and red team knows that now. Looks like Ares is going in for the chase. He's looking to be really aggressive here. Chain one gets off on Ra. Chain two Ra off on Ra. Chain three gets missed. Ra uses an ult, and looks like this should be a disengage. We have Geb coming up from behind. Ah, uh, Agni was feeling greedy there, but they they must have spotted out the the Geb coming from behind. We're gonna put some, some serious pressure over here in left lane. Uh, ult used by Cupid, just try trying to get them off this tower. This tower's almost dead. Absolutely, just the three man pressure coming out here is gonna be huge. While mid lane gets uh, Cupid forced to dash out. That's huge. One chain coming off on Ares. Geb shield is down. That is an engaged, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, the ult barely. He barely got out of that. Like Geb, the CC immunity. Holy crap. Oh, so much damage coming out, and looks like Ares will be taken down by Mercury. Rama's up in the air, though. He's looking for Mercury. Shot one, shot two misses. Shot three misses with the shield is down. So that means they can continue putting some pressure over here. If I was blue team, I would be trying to get out as quickly as possible. Oh, but the Thor dunks in! Thor dunks in. <laughs> it's, it's Cupid with a double tap Berserker Barrage on Ra and picks up a double kill here. That is the turnaround of this game that was beautiful. That was a beautiful engagement. Mid meanwhile, mid tower is still probably going down. Uh, Bacchus are doing as much as he can, running as quickly as he can to go ahead and defend this over here. Left lane still seeing a lot of pressure from Agni. Uh, Geb staying still for some reason. He's still way too low. Rama spots it out. He's trying to land some autos onto him. And there he goes. One calculated shot. Picks up the kill on Geb. Very nicely done. Um, over here in mid lane, we got lots of pressure coming out. Mercury over there backing since he spotted out that his speed buff had been stolen. Was it stolen or did he pick it up? He picked it up. Good job. Over here in left lane, though, tier two is going to be get taken out by Rom here. Rom's, the steroid on Rom is just absolutely ridiculous. Oh, the Mercury ult misses on Rom. Rom, you better dash and hurry up and get away. You still have the uh, uh, cripple on your, your first shot. Nope, he's going to get repositioned by the Mercury ult there. Ares is here to save the day. Beats used. Oh, Ram is really low. Ram is like got 10 health right now. He's got 42 health right now. He's gonna get out just fine. Ares gonna take the brunt of the rest of this damage here. Likely going to die, but he did save his carry. His carry, his carry is uh super super well fed. I mean, if you're looking over here at Ram, he's five one and four right now, ladies and gentlemen. We are standing in total 15 kills to 10. Let's look at the experience in gold. The experience difference is reaching 10k. Gold difference is reaching 6600. This is getting out of control. Red team over here pushing over here at this gold fury. We got all four members of the team, and it does go down. As a matter of fact, it looks like it was not warded. Gebel coming out on Agni here without anybody really around to to follow up with that, except for way later. Knock up out dashes down on Agni. Mercury comes in, beats coming up by Agni. Uh, Rom trying to get as much damage off as he can, trying to get <laughs> just peel Agni out of there. He's not super in danger of being low. He is juking things rather appropriately, but they're still in a bad position. Looks like they are starting to turn the tides here. Cupid's dash is down. Heart Bomb takes. Heart Bomb does not take out Agni. Agni takes out Cupid. Rama going up in his ult, looking for Mercury. One shot down, two shot down. 
third shot, not to be found. Andy picks up Mercury, and Agni picks up Ra, and Rama picks up Geb. That was a four-man down for the red team, and left team is looking to take this Phoenix here. They can be really aggressive. Cupid isn't up for another 10 seconds. Geb isn't up in another 15. <laughs> Excuse me while I die of not having anything to drink for a while. Looks like the left tower does end up, uh, left Phoenix does end up going down for blue team. Uh, beautifully played over there. Meanwhile, in right lane, Baka got the first tower for his team of the day. Nicely done, Baka. Uh, if I were red team, I'd be, I'd be just grouping up for the rest of this game. I would not be trying to solo farm. I would not be trying to get buffs by myself. I would not be trying to ward by myself. They, we have clearly seen that, oh, Red team goes ahead and throws up the F6. The wind goes out to blue team. Those epic rotations just got absolutely out of control. Oh my gosh. That Agni getting first blood was massive. Absolutely massive. Somebody as bursty as Agni getting first blood is never a good thing. Agni has the potential to be invited by randos. Here, let's just fix that. D&D. &D. So taking a look here, who was the MVP as far as damage goes? And that would be, that would be Rom. Rom coming out with the 12k damage in 16 minutes, which is, which is rather impressive for uh, an ADC, honestly. Um, that's very little time. How many items did he have online by that point? He had Executioner, so that does help him out uh, quite a bit. The, most of the damage he did probably happen towards the last five, six, maybe even seven minutes of the game. All right, guys, that's going to do it for us today here at youtube.com slash gangforsgang. My name is Smitten. Thank you very much for listening to the cast. If you guys liked what you saw, make sure to go check out my other casts if you want more and more Smitten casts, or you can subscribe to know whenever I'm going to be posting more videos, which is every single week. Um, so thank you guys so much. I really appreciate your, your feedback. I want to know how you guys feel as a viewer listening to me as a caster. Like, what would you like to see changed? Is there anything that I'm missing that is critical and you think would, you know, enhance your, your viewing experience? So once again, thank you guys, and I will see you next time.